Topic, Topic two, two. Uh, which is uh, the fan voted screw up album, Triple H. Boy. So, um, well, I mean, yeah. if you lead it off like it, that, no. they're gonna know you're not. I, gonna no, like I don't. It. No, I don't. I don't mean the <laughs> album was a screw up. I mean that like we it was a screw technically like shouldn't have re- it reviewed it because yeah. it's only three songs. Um, so because of that. Uh, like we said at the beginning of the f- episode, if you're only coming here for part two, uh, there's gonna be two topics today on the yes. that the day this comes out. Okay. We'll also release our Goo Goo Don Semina review because both of them are singles, um, yep. so they're gonna be short. So we figure instead of screwing you out of some content, um, since we screwed up and put a single album on the poll, uh, which we usually don't review, uh, we will just do two of them. Um, so yeah, starting out, this is Triple H's Retro Futurism single album. Uh, the first song is Feel, uh, and this is the first Triple H song I've really liked. Uh, Same. It's, <laughs> it's, it's like old school, four minute Hyuna vibes. It really, it really reminds me of Change, uh, which is Hyuna's debut, solo debut. Um, I like that they used like electronic guitar riffs occasionally in it too. So, so it's just like a really old school, like hardcore hip hop dance k-pop track um Mm. but yeah they threw in some like electric guitar riffs uh i i think this fits all three uh, members like really well um which once we get to is like one of the things i don't really like about triple h uh later on um but yeah i think this should easily have been their single and it's definitely my favorite song that they've done for sure agreed i think Sort of for me, a recurring theme on on this album is. Don't get me wrong, I, I actually surprisingly like this album more than I thought I would, but I just feel like there's just some like choices that they made on each of the songs that I felt kind of held it back. Like on this, again, the whole concept of their album is retro futurism, so it's kind of like all these like fu- like old school funk sounds and like combining it with, like electronic stuff, but. I mean, I get where they're going for with this song, but I think the thing that really sort of, like, kept it from being, like, a perfect song for me is just sort of the obnoxious ass da 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 like, throughout the entire song. And that it might not necessarily just be that riff, just like or just, like, that uh, sort of, like, sample. I think it's just the mixing is just, like, all over the place because everything is just super loud. Like, that's very loud. The guitar is very loud. Their vocals are very loud. Mm-hmm. Um, so you, you can, it's very hard to focus in on one thing. It's, it's just, it sounds like a mess, basically. That's, mm. it, it, it's such a shame because, like, I think, like, my favorite part is when, like, they, like, they sort of, like, strip back the instrumentals and more of, like, the vocals come out and, like, there's some par- vocal parts that are, like, shiny-esque where, like, they, it's, like, electronic style and everything, which is great. Like, towards the end, like, they go into, they have, like, the bit of tinges of, like, New Jack Swing, which was, again, incredible. But, yeah, I feel like... If it was mixed better, I would have loved this song so much more than I did. I know that everyone's like mm-hmm. super high on this song, but man, it's just like it's so hard to focus on hearing the song because all I can hear is da 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 like that really like obnoxious like da, like chime sound that they keep going with. It it it, it kind of feels like they're trying again. It kind of feels like oh, Hui and Idan are like yeah, let's go with the retro thing, and then Hyuna's like no, we and then like don't forget the <laughs> don't forget the I don't know just like trapness of the song or whatever so i don't know it just it, it just feels too conflicting for me hmm. yeah so for me i i really like how it's very 2010 k-pop i feel like yeah uh, exactly like everything everything's loud um it is a little messy but i kind i kind of like it this time around even though i'm usually the one who's kind of a stickler for mixing but um i I don't know. I, I just I like the feeling of the song. I guess no pun intended. Yeah, no. Um, ultimately, I do like it. Yeah. So, but, yeah. Um, I don't know. I just, I just think it's fun, and I feel like this definitely should have been the title track on this album, in my opinion, because I I think I definitely would have had uh, a much better reception this time around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, same. Well, that is if and also the concept just is better because <laughs> yeah. If you if you look at the song, it kind of feels like again talking about how sometimes they sort of change up the instrumentals or they sort of strip it back. Sometimes it's like they have like the song has like different movements or whatever, where it has like one sound and then goes into another sound and goes into another sound. I feel like that would have worked better with a music video as opposed to something like Retro Future, where it was sort of 
the same type of sound for the entire I mean there's nothing wrong with that it just feels like yeah if feel got the music video it would probably would have been more interesting because they could have played with the visual aspects of that where they're mm-hmm. sort of changing the, the visual style of the song of the music video for like every type of like like music change or tempo change or the, yeah like, like the, the changing instrumentals and everything mm-hmm. yeah like with with feel i feel like you could have done something totally like ethereal and like psychedelic with it and it would yeah. have been yeah. really cool and it Which still they, would have been inside of like uh triple h's sort of like weird shtick y- yeah so like you know i don't know it, it would but, have been way more interesting <laughs> than yeah. what we got honestly yep uh, next, we have Retro Future, which is the title track. Um, so this is like their debut, another like more funky pop song. Um, hmm. I think the instrumentals are really good, actually, on this track. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, um, and I'm kind of stealing this from Jacob because he's been saying it way more than I, uh, I don't really like the chorus because it's super, super repetitive. Um, yeah. And then, uh, and I've talked about this before, and like I, I feel bad talking about it because I don't like being super negative a lot. Um, but I really don't like nasally voices, and I really don't like Edon's voice because of it. Yeah, I, um, I think basically with Hyuna we tolerate, Edon we tolerate, Hui we love because he's he's definitely. Yeah. I feel like in well, terms it, of like vocal style, well, that's he has definitely an the, amazing voice. Yeah, yeah exactly. he has an incredible so voice. Good. Like that, like he's half that's the reason in, why I, I love. Well, uh, Freaking da 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Shine. Like, that, yeah, that's yeah, one yeah. criticism I, I have so in this good. album yeah. is that, like, I feel like Hui's voice is really underutilized. In yeah, style. definitely. Yeah, um, and I mean, maybe it's just because, I guess, this, like, they're going for, like, old school funk type music and you're not really, yeah. like, getting any, like, building many high notes when you're. Yeah, yeah, you're not, yeah. It's not going to be yeah. as intricate and, like, as, like, and that's what I was, like, like that. saying. I, I liked Edon's voice in Feel. Like, it fits that type of song, but mm. I don't think it fits the song or the next song. Um, so like that really takes me out of it. And then uh, also the music video is not very good. It's really messy and it's just another drug fueled sex party that they had like the last one. And it's just like not interesting at all. But like, then yeah. also it's really horribly shot <laughs> and lit. I mean, like, like I get I get the kind of aesthetic that they're going for. It's, yeah, I do too. It's not the it's, aesthetic. It's, it's just <laughs> the direction. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're trying to go really like, artsy and everything, but I, I say this as an art student myself, and I so I have a, <sighs> I have a, I definitely have a tolerance for, like, weird shit, but, like, this kind of stuff is kind of like the, the it kind of reminds me of the people who are, like, the art, artsy people that have just, like, up their own ass so much that, like, it just has to be, like, super weird and super, like, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's almost, super like, weird for just the sake of being weird, not, yeah, like, for it's any like, actual artistic it, yeah, reason. it's kind of, like, performance art almost, but I feel like if you wanted to do something like that, you probably shouldn't do mainstream music or it's like some type yeah. of like actual mainstream type sounding song just because it's probably, it's a bit too distracting for my taste. And I mean, like, I'd say like, like the actual, maybe the, I could tolerate the music video a bit. I'd say what really like sort of soured me on it is, man, their outfits are so fucking weird. So weird. And like, really, like, yeah. they look like vampires. I don't know what like the makeup is or whatever. I don't know. And like, I think, who is it? Like, who's taking a shit or something like that? <laughs> I don't know. There's, like, a oh, frog know. walking on Edon's face at one oh, point. Like, oh, yeah. It's so I, weird. Yeah, like, I, I get it. I know that's that's kind of, like, the the, the stick they stuck, they kind of established with, uh, like, 365 So Fresh. It's like, oh, Bonnie and Clyde. It's like, oh, it's murder, like, sex, drugs, party type stuff. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know. I, I, we've, we've talked at length with how we're kind of just bored of that kind of, like, or it just seems like Kiana's doing this just to... Because that's all she has, honestly. Because her music, because we ha- we haven't found much of her music interesting as of late. And, and after this, she's releasing a solo album. So I mean, who knows? Yeah. Who knows what her? If it, I'm guessing Please her mind state. Good. Yeah, I'm guessing her. But I'm guessing her mind state's going to be in a similar sort of, like I guess area where they are yeah. now with Triple H. So I don't know. Getting we'll like I, my thoughts on the actual song. I guess it's I enjoyed I enjoyed the instrument a lot more than I thought I would. But yeah, that, the chorus definitely killed it because with how much like writing and production talent is on this one team, there's no excuse. And I, I get I get it. They're trying to go for like the, especially with the samples that they're utilizing for those that might not have been born. I mean, I wasn't born around when they're using the uh, grand, when Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five as the message came out. Or I mean, I think I was alive when Cha Cha Slide came out. But um, like the sort of like. 
vibe that they're trying to establish is like the old school, like the early, like the early ages of hip hop where like it was literally like, oh, I went to like the store and I bought like milk and like I did this and like that's like it's telling a story or whatever. And yeah, so yeah. it's kind of like repetitive, like it's kind of repetitive or like the like they, they would rely heavily on like one one word like choruses. But again, with with all the with all the talent that they have on this team, I feel like there's just no excuse for them lyrically to just say retro future like five times over or something like that. I mean, don't get me mm-hmm. wrong. It's, it's catchy. It's just like. I feel like they could have done something more interesting with that chorus. Well, I, to me, it feels like like sixty percent of the song is just them repeating retro, retro future. Retro future, yeah. I mean, like, it, it works, but it, it it just I don't know. I like I listened to it. I was I was going with an open mic because I didn't like Triple H's last uh, yeah, same. you know their debut. I didn't like it, but I was hopeful because. I like Yana and I like both Edon and Hui because I think they're both really talented. But like, uh, it it just I don't know. It just really disappointed me because like, because everyone speaks so highly of them, and yeah. I think highly of them as well. Yeah, but like, we it's we just we, like, we know we know what the, t- the like we know what they're capable of because yeah, we've been yeah. like, like especially with Yana, we've been following her music for years at, yeah. at this point. So well, like legitimately, like. For real, like Hyuna was probably like my number two bias, like ever at one point. Yeah. Like when I first got yeah. into K-pop, she was like Same. my number two. Yeah. Of all time, I was like, "Come on, come on." Yeah, uh, just, anyways, it, it, but um, I was gonna touch on like the the concept because like that was another huge thing. I was just like, like. I'm just so done with it. Like, it, like a lot of the teaser photos and stuff, and then their last MV, like it's using like orange lighting, and it's just it's so ugly and like gross looking to me. Like you, you described it as like the literal yeah, definition yeah. of dank. Like it yeah, it's, it's like it's dank like, looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the what the what I said before was literally it looks like it was shot in some pedophile's basement. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah. I just get a really, I don't know. It's not the sexy stuff that sort of makes me uncomfortable. It's just like the sort of, it, I guess it's yeah. It's definitely like the kind like of it mood makes that it they look that. Gross. Yeah, and gross. It's very. Yeah. It's very uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, maybe it's that's just like the, an unclean feeling. Yeah, maybe that's the sort of thing that they're going for. Oh, I like, think it definitely song, is. No, I mean like, with the song, but the thing is, I don't know what that has necessarily has to do with the retro future. Like, no, it doesn't. I, I think the, I'm just I'm just too much of a perfectionist to have something that's so like sloppy and gross. I, I mean, yeah. Like I I. Like, cause I, I like the like creepy aspect and stuff like that. I think that's usually done like pretty cool in a lot of MVs, but in this, it was like, it just felt cheesy and like, I, I don't know. A, a lot of what they do, honestly, at this point, I I think a lot of what Kiana does is cheesy. I mean, again, like we've talked about it a lot where it just sort of, it doesn't has, it has little to no effect on us at this point. It's just yeah. like, oh my God, she did what with this member? Yeah. It's, it's kind <laughs> oh, of. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's just it, like. The, the shock factor. That's just what Yana does. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, like she, we're totally in. Don't get us wrong. We're totally fine with her doing that. We're not those yeah, people that's like no. gross. How dare she take off her shirt? But yeah, yeah. No, freaking, I love that male I, K-pop I, I love, to take off. I love that stuff. Are you kidding me? Hunter, you guys are dumb. Hot. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just like it doesn't have any shock value anymore because she's been doing it for years. Yeah. Um, and it, and okay. I, like what I said specifically in my like unpopular opinion is that it, it sort of feels like she had like. That's all they focus on, really, is just like the, yeah, exactly, like, and not really the musical aspect of it. But I mean, yeah. again, I'm I'm still, uh, I'd say I'd I'd like the music of this mini or the single album way more than I liked any of the visual aspects of it because I feel like yeah, I maybe agree. maybe the name Retro Future is sort of like misleading. Where I'm just like, oh, thinking, oh, maybe it's gonna be like old school, <laughs> like I don't know, like future funk, like type, like computer stuff mm-hmm. or whatever. And I mean, some of the teasers were like that. And they did none of that in the music yeah, yeah. video. I'm just like, literally, you call it retro futurism. I mean, you don't have some like '80s vaporwave aesthetic type shit. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, that's kind of a no brainer when you're calling something retro futurism. I don't like. Yeah, it, it just kind of. It doesn't seem like there's like one solid direction that they were going, and it's like the music's going in one direction and the visuals are going in another, and there's just too much disconnect. Yeah. It just seems like the concept is like, eh, let's just do a bunch of stuff and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it sticks. And hopefully Q yeah. pays um, for it. <laughs> that's, that's basically. So, I mean, Shana has free reign at that company, so yeah. they're just like, okay, whatever. Oh yeah, just sign yeah, the yeah. check. <laughs> so I want to call time out for a second because just our luck. Uh, episode five subs just came out. <laughs> oh my god! So it's Produce the part five confirmed. Oh. So yeah, we were hoping that. 
Produce 48 episode 5 subs would have come out like yesterday so that we could have recorded Produce Cast today to go up on Saturday. Uh, but that did not happen. So, and we, I'm going to Monster X tomorrow. So, yeah. Uh, so we will not be able to get a Produce Cast out last Saturday, but you already knew that. Um, <laughs> We'll have it okay. up th- this week from your perspective. Yeah, you, you, it'll it'll be up by the time you It'll be fine. This, it'll be fine. For sure. <laughs> um, okay, F- let's go to the last song in the album, Show Me. Um, and this is this is actually Don't even more me. than Retro Feel, um, what I was talking about. I think this song is really good. I think it fits Triple H really well. Yep. But Edon's voice ruins it for me. Because, mm-hmm. like, like we talked about, like Huey's voice is so good in this type of song. And, like, it's just, it felt so out of place when Edon started rapping. Like, I don't know what it is. It just, it's, I can't tolerate that. Like, I don't, I don't want to say can't tolerate it. I didn't hate the song. I like the song, but it definitely lowered my, just my took you out thinking. It took me out of the song, exactly. Yeah, I, I, I'd say that's. I'd say that's probably the reason why we sort of have a hard time getting into Hyuna or like some Pentagon songs or just mm-hmm. Don in particular is because it, yeah, again, it, I guess the, the, hearing the voice at first is kind of jarring. So I can understand. But I mean, this is, this was my favorite song actually, just because they just, it's just 100% uh, like New Jack Swing. So of course I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, I mean, but again, it's kind of curious how basically. The first, the first album was just them copying like Uptown Funk, in mm-hmm. a way, and then this is just co- them like going after, like going after the style of, um, oh god, uh, finesse with mm-hmm. uh, Bruno. It's basically like, it just feels like they're kind of like copying Bruno Mars the entire way. Yeah, so it's, it's really interesting. Like if Bruno, if Bruno Mars releases, uh, I don't know, like uh tropical house ballad song or whatever it's like next thing you know <laughs> tropical house ballad let's go <laughs> oh i didn't know triple h is gonna become nate's favorite group of all time if they ever release the tropical house ballad track <laughs> but no it's it's kind of just funny that they're just sort of like fo- like following their songs progressively but i i do like i feel like this song could have worked so well as a single just because new jack swing has amazing choreography mm. and they're all they're all pretty good and or they're all excellent in their own rights when it comes to dance Maybe that's the one thing I hated about Retro Futures that you, a they don't really focus on the choreography and b of the choreography that they showed it was just boring or it was just really <laughs> like I don't know it, it it wasn't interesting at least for my eyes so yeah it just feels like yeah with feel and show me it just feels like there was just so much more they could have done visually both with choreography and with the actual music video but. I guess they have to. They were sort of pigeonholed into the fact that it's actually called Retro Future and the album's called Retro Futurism, so they had to go with it. But yeah, I feel like I feel like the, both both the 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 songs that weren't the title or the the single were just so much better, mm. like in all aspects. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for this song, like I I actually really like this song as well. Um, uh, to touch on like Edon's voice, um, I think. In the second, in his second rap, it's fine. But no, yeah, the- exactly. Yeah, it's fine. I felt the exact same way because it's not it, it, for the first one. He went like super, super nasally. Yeah, and then the, and second, then the second one, second he one, didn't. He was normal. <laughs> yeah. And it's it, it sounds great. Like why? Why are you doing that? It doesn't uh, to me. It doesn't add to the aesthetic at all. It just takes me out of it. And, and, and some like people, people do gonna, like it. Cooper people, loves it. I feel like I feel like but, people are gonna get mad at me for saying this, but I just feel like he's just trying to sound like G Dragon. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, we, no, we, we've, I, we've I, said, I said that, that multiple times. Yeah, I've yeah. said that. Yeah, All of us agree. He sounds like he's trying to copy GD, and like he's like it just sounds way better when he doesn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, speaking of normal voices, Shana uses her normal singing voice in this too. So again, yep. her, yeah. it's so much more enjoyable than just her just like really in your face. Like imagine <laughs> if she me. did like like her nasally voice for the song, it would not have fit at all. Oh no, so yeah, I'm, exactly. That, that, like this is the like this is the Hyuna that I sort of like fell yeah. in, like the voice I fell in love with at first. Yeah, like believe me, I I literally listened to like four minutes entire discography like two days ago. I I'm familiar with Hyuna's regular singing voice. Yeah. Okay, we all good? Yep. Let's get to yep. rankings. So for me, I'm gonna I'm gonna shock you all. I'm gonna give you so if I just ranked these three segments as I would rank them, this is my ranking, but this isn't my real ranking. My if I ranked them as I should, it would be three one zero. 
but this is not a four. I don't think this is a four. Because I, re- I like one and a half of the songs out of the three, so three out of six. If I really don't system. like... Yeah, I really I don't like the don't like the concept. I think the album art looks garbage. I thought the music video was really like ugly. So just a one there. And then I w- I don't buy uh, they're not my bias or anything. So I would zero. But I don't think this is a 4. So I fudged the numbers. I th- I gave it a 411. So 6. Uh, it's a 6 overall. I think I I bumped it up to 4 for music cuz I think it deserves a little bit more. I st- kept the styling at one or the concept at one because I really didn't like it and then I used the bias point for what Jacob originally intended it for is I don't think this is a five I think it's a six uh, so I gave them that extra point I, I'm probably gonna give it the highest score out of all of it out of all of you guys so because I actually gave it a five and, out of six for the music okay and Andrew I, is Andrew's Paula tonight <laughs> yeah no, no, well no was, late, later on I'll be back no, I mean, <laughs> for my I was, babies I was just super like with the music, I was just super impressed with actually how it came out again. I, mm-hmm. Most of my gripes with this is the visual aspect of it, which is why I gave it a one out of three for concept. But again, for the most part, I'm fine with the music. So five, five music, one concept, one bias, seven out of ten. So that, that's the, I'd say that's be me being very generous. Generous, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. again, or just like because again, it's with, we've we've documented just like how we've just sort of been like frustrated with in particular Kiana's creative process so yeah i'm still i'm still pretty happy with how it came out for at least musically mm. so for me i gave it a five zero one <laughs> i was wondering if you were gonna give it a zero Ooh. i was yeah. like are we gonna get our like, first zero have we ever I, given I, a zero for concept I, no we've never no, given we a zero for music zero for, or concept oh my I look God. Down, like, like seriously like it, it, I I don't know like the aesthetic they keep going with with the orange lighting and the yeah just r- really like lo-fi but in a bad way like yep. sort of th- feeling I, I just it just feels dirty and unrefined and it, I, it just it rubs me the wrong way I guess it's it's not yeah. like again it's not anything against them or their art it's just like it really rubs me the wrong way yeah um so I, I gave them five for music because mm-hmm. I really like feel and I also really like show me and I liked half of Ref- Retro Future, I guess. Yeah, you like the instrumentals. Like I said, but... yeah, I love the instrumentals and uh, the verses that it, that existed were pretty good as well. So, <laughs> this, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, I think I might finally realize like why we hate it so much because it kind of remi- they're kind of trying to jip off of uh, you know the photographer Terry Richardson, the guy that just basically um, he's like a like a pop art photographer. That, you know, anytime that like. There's like a celebrity, and it's just like a super overexposed uh, uh, picture yeah, of them yeah, with a I white background or whatever. Yep. I mean, just basically that, and that guy's a fucking creep. So <laughs> maybe that's why I just don't. Like, I don't know. Like he he has like some mm. really like weird like you know like picture of Miley like Miley Cyrus that apparently she's like I don't know, like crazy like weird like st- but when she was like going nuts for the first time um mm-hmm. that he did the photography with her and everything and it kind of feels like they're kind of going going after that aesthetic but yeah no i, yeah. I hate i hate that photography style so much just because it's yeah maybe that's why we hate it <laughs> it's so in yeah i guess it's just so in it's too incorrect because like there's a there's definitely a there's definitely a threshold for acceptability of just like aesthetic or styling of just like low like super low quality and then it just being garbage and this is more towards garbage so so yeah like at the end of the day for me like the music was good the music was there um retro future just had a weak chorus so that's basically the problem there and then then like my biggest problem is just like the concept i i just really don't like the concept and that's what drove it down so much so yeah yeah i guess so six out of ten overall and i mean for Uh, as much as i as much as i like the music uh, I'd still like to see them go in a different direction because this probably get, is going to get stale. Um, just oh, like yeah, this, definitely. If they keep yeah, doing this, yeah. Yeah, just like the whole 80s fun concept, which, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like it. It's just I want to see them... I, we know what they're capable of, so I want to see them push this group into a different direction. So Well, yeah, yeah. Didn't, they, didn't they produce like some of the best songs on Produce 101 last year? They, they, they did Never, and then they did yeah. um, <laughs> Energetic. So, I mean, I, I'd like to... Yeah. I'd, yeah. Like, give me something that's as good as energetic, and I will stand you, Triple H. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, like, yeah. We, we, we know what they're capable of, so please. And, I just, st- and just get a g- like, good looking MV and yeah. album art. Yeah, find and stuff. a director that's a good. Get, like, I don't know, uh, friggin' Two Always does the directing of music videos. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's a couple get, people. 
Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Digi Petty. <laughs> yeah. That's one yeah. that I know of. Yeah, but they're more for like low budget ones. Yeah, but, yeah weird. So. I love the card shout out because they say Onana. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Not everything yeah, is just, a card shout just, out. Just believe it's a card. They're it's definitely card shouting out card. They're doing Tropical House and they say <laughs> Onana. Oh, That's definitely a card shout out. Um, <laughs> but no, but seriously, like the choreo is great.